What goes up must come down. But that's easier said than done when it comes to drones used in modern warfare. As UAVs become an essential part of modern warfare, systems designed to track and intercept drones are getting equally advanced. Here's a look at some of the most advanced anti-drone weaponry being used today. From the trench warfare of the First World War to strikes by swarms of remote-controlled attack drones today. From the charge of the cavalry and troop formation tactics to artificial intelligence-powered robots and long-distance hypersonic missiles. The tools of modern warfare have changed the stakes of conventional conflict. Military superiority is no longer about sheer numbers. Instead, it's access to technology and advanced weaponry that determines who has the upper hand. As recent conflicts have borne out, drones have emerged as game-changers on the battlefield. Used for surveillance and to deploy bombs. Drones have proven to be versatile, cost-effective and capable of deadly precision strikes. However, a significant new challenge has emerged. Countries are now investing heavily in anti-drone technologies, designed to neutralize unmanned aerial vehicles in mid-flight. This raises a crucial question. Why develop entirely new systems when existing defense mechanisms might suffice? The reality is that shooting drones out of the sky presents unique complexities. The debris from a neutralized drone can pose a substantial risk to people on the ground, making a targeted and controlled approach essential. One such cutting-edge system is Enforce Air, developed by Defend Solutions, an Israel-based tech company. Enforce Air offers a unique approach. Instead of destroying hostile drones, it allows operators to remotely hack into invading UAVs and take control. It resembles a large computer router and can be deployed on a tripod, mounted on a vehicle or even carried in a backpack. When an unauthorized drone enters a protected zone, the Enforce Air system can quickly detect the intruder. The system then overrides the drone's original system, allowing the on-ground operator to hijack the drone's controls and safely land it. You get a picture in our system, so the operator gets an idea of what the drone should look like. Oh, cool. And it'll give you the serial number, the speed, the heading, uh, what protocol it's using. So drones use different communication methods. This approach offers a crucial benefit. Authorities can study the captured, unharmed drone to gather intelligence, and if the drone belongs to an innocent hobbyist, it can be returned to the owner easily. We're tracking the drone, and we're tracking where the pilot is, and the way it's flying. So we detected them, you heard the beeps, now it's in the protected area. We got takeover capability, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do takeover. And what you're noticing now is our system is taking over lost the drone. Connection. Copy that. So over there, you'll notice the pilot lost connection again, and he goes to a blank screen. And over here now, the drone is gone, and it's gonna, should, if everything goes good, head over and land safely. Experts believe that anti-drone defenses like these could soon become commonplace and will be crucial in protecting sensitive buildings, pipelines, ports and public areas. At a time when threats can strike in seconds and chaos can spread within moments, anti-drone technology is no longer an option. It's the need of the hour.